All right, so we're recording and I'm at my local park here. This is Crescent Bay Park. And I, I decided yesterday, you know, it felt so good to practice here in the morning. I thought I should just do one outside. And um, one friend showed up today. There's Lisa over there. <laughs> and uh, we may have one or two more. But this class is for you on Patreon. And um, I just thought it'd be good to get outside. So if you can get outside some point later today, that would be great. It's good, right? Just so good, such good medicine, just to feel the elements and be in the prana bath of mother nature. And we'll do, we're gonna do a little movement medicine today and um, breath work and, you know, the usual suspects we'll do. So we're recording, away we go. Anybody wanna share anything into the, the chat box before we start? Any divine inspiration or how you're doing or prayers or anything? Can you hear okay? Right. Yeah, so this park is right at the ocean here and it's just incredibly beautiful spot. It's a place I practice a lot and also down on the beach. And I, I, it helps me remember, you know, it's my, my teacher here, Mother Nature. Prayers for Muskoka and Ontario to go green. Okay. I don't know exactly what that means, but I, I think maybe it's an area and we want them to go green. So yes. Prayers for all beings, right? Because all beings are connected. So we have to remember at this time, you know, and yes, there are differences and there are things that we, we are each called and compelled to stand for and to be aware of. You can't do it all, right? Nobody can catch and tick every single box. You would go cuckoo. So everybody's called into different areas of life to advocate for, to care for, to you know consider. And how we all sit in the circle of life, it's like you know, you've done a council circle sometime, a sharing circle, and, and everybody has a different view and that's part of the beauty of life. I see things that you don't, you see things that I don't. And when we share together and reflect, we can understand deeper truth together, which is the whole point. And when the dialogue is shut down, when people stop communicating and they start isolating, things start festering, right? And so as much as possible, we want to continue dialogue and communication. And one of my inspirations, um, Daryl Davis, I've mentioned him before, beautiful African-American man who has personally converted over 200 clans members by having personal relationships with them, talking to them and working through it human to human, heart to heart. And his story is incredible. He has a TED talk, if you ever wanna check it out, Daryl Davis. Um, he's been on the Rogan show and other places, just you know, beautiful interviews. and he said something really important, you know, is that we must communicate. We're, we're social animals. And even when we disagree, as long as we're talking, the possibility for healing is there. So I like to just put that in the pot every once in a while to remember in these divisive times and challenging times for us, our human family. You know, we, we can inspire each other, we can help each other to grow. And if he can convert 200 clansmen who are f full of conditioned hate for others, then anyone can change, right? Pretty much. And so big view, planet Earth, human family, each of us working on our own growth and healing and awakening. 
right? Capacity for wisdom and seeing the circle. So I honor you for showing up today and blessings to you. Thanks for being a part of my awakening as well and inspiring me and helping to remind me. And good things happen when we all, you know, lift each other up and good things are possible. So I wanna to start today with um, a little meditation on the cosmic prana and sounds pretty esoteric, but just think of it as like the, the life force, the life energy that's sustaining, nurturing all things. And the symbol for that in India is Om. I mean, it's one of the symbols, but I'd say the main one. So Om is a, an object of meditation. You can meditate on the sound, the symbol. You can repeat it as a mantra. You can chant it, which we'll do. And you could also choose something else. Like you may be in love with trees and your mantra is tree, tree, which is the ancient English word for tree. And then out of that comes tree youth. Your tree youth is your tree of life, right? Your truth. I'm just riffing, but it could be that. It might be the word love. It might be um, shalom. Just experiment, you know, and you'll find like some, some word, some concept that just has such a deep meaning for you. Use it. Very powerful, right? Okay, so just going to open it up a little bit today. Just kind of remember to open our minds and hearts. And just take a few breaths. Let life in. Breathe life in. Mm -hmm. We all need some miracles right now. We all need healing. And so thank you, Creator. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this moment to remember to breathe, to expand, to show up in a loving way. Bring that into the heart. So imagine the heart center is a powerful connection point of all the different layers of energy dimensions. I'm gonna chant Om three times. your heart. Let's concentrate at the heart center. Imagine there's a living space. Mentally repeat Om or any other word, the word that you choose. Just repeat it at your heart center. So as you breathe in, you chant that word. Om. As you breathe out. And invite yourself to be safe in this moment as much as possible. Be relaxed in this moment as much as possible. Be at ease. Through the instrument of your body, grounding into planet Earth, the physicality. Relax your bones. Be 
you become aware of any resistance, anxiety, stress, any amount, just use your breath to dispel it, release it a little bit, right? That, that grip we feel and sometimes in our belly or our heart, our mind. Remember to breathe, to feel and to breathe. is showing up for yourself, right? Meeting yourself every day. Where I'm contracting and holding fear or stress, I want to explore it. So I'm going to use a little more sound, short O, long M, like O, and we'll, we'll use the M sound as the Brahmari, the, bumble, the bumblebee breath, to really vibrate through the thymus gland, through the vagus nerve area, through the head. So it's a very wonderful technique to help de-stress the system. See, he's oming up there in the sky. I don't know if you can hear that. A little helicopter thing, para, parasail. So just try that with me. Just om. as long as you can. And then take a breath and go again. Om. Stressing the brain, relaxing. Um. Do a little more and feel it vibrating in the heart, thymus gland, vibrating in the belly. The head, the throat. Oh. Just shift into silent repetition. Dharana concentration. Pratyahara, the senses flowing in. Dhyana meditation. I'm learning how to direct my awareness, my consciousness into a one-pointed flow of attention and presence. And being playful, and curious and open, and relaxed, deep relaxed presence. Oh, Mani Padme Hum. Yes. I'm offering my prayers this morning. Prayers for love, prayers for peace. Prayers for kindness.
all beings be happy and free from suffering. Remembering, awakening to the yogic and beautiful consciousness of oneness that resides in me and all beings, right? We remember that. Stay. So come on up to standing. Put your feet on the grass. I'm just going to start with a little, and let me know how the sound is. I'll check in here and there. Uh, I'm going to just start with a little, just side to side, open up the feet, left and right brain, using the hands, you can just start to get your breath movement happening. So much when we move the left and right body with breath and synchronization, the brain centers begin to wake up. You can do this however it feels good. It's just getting your little, you know, your dancing feet. As Hafiz, the great poet, Sufi poet says, cast all your votes for dancing. So just open up and let's just kind of move the arms a little bit, just kind of playfully. We're kind of like doing a circle, making a fist. You can do this any way you want. Just like turning your chi on this morning, right? It's like little fun movements to kind of wake things up. It's like shake your legs a little bit. It's like, right? You got it. Like you think in terms of prana and chi, energy, life energy, orgon energy, mana, ki, shakti, and then take the hands the other direction. And that we are energetic beings, right, by our nature. We live in a vibrational universe, so it's not so crazy. And I'm not going to just move into, you can kind of, you know, use what's useful. Just a little light jumping. If you have an injury, keep the feet down, arms up. And with a strong intention, just lift your energy up. Raise your vibration. Positive thoughts today. All right, arms. So feet are apart, hip width, knees soft. So in your arms, you have six main meridians. You have the heart and the lungs, the intestines, small and large. You've got the heart protector. You've also got triple warmer channel, which is the main yang heating channel in the body. So we're just swinging, so from the side, or just really easy, the arms are heavy. If you have an injury, work around it. It's a great way to just get chi moving. Add to that your breath. It's nice, full, deep breaths, embodied breathing. A lot of, you know, there's different places in the body where prana gets locked up. Big one is in the chest, the heart and lungs, shoulders, low back, belly, so many places. Okay. Relax. Notice how that feels. Okay, so now we're gonna do side to side. Same idea, just let your arms get heavy. As you get older, especially, you're still young, of course, but you know, as you get a little older and get more candles on the cake, think about slowing down. Just like, especially for the nervous system right now, we're all, you know, under constant assault. 
So just like parasympathetic slowing down and movements that really support energy flow, chi flow. Longevity is not using all your energy up in everything you do, right? You have to learn to conserve energy. Yeah, let's get into like a nice fluid rhythm. Take a few real long exhales. Slow down. And just keep returning back through the center. So how are you feeling? All right. Let's see. So soft the knees. And we're going to just allow a little um, slight back bend. Drop your pubic bone down. The lumbar goes in. You can actually feel that. Take one hand into your lumbar spine. So you just you get a sense of where your spine's at. Do you have a, a deep curve or is it more uh, straight or is it even rounded? So we want curve here. So we're just getting a little bit of lumbar in. And then take your hands that you can interlace behind the head or you could just go like that. And you just go side to side. Breathe deeply. So low back, especially getting some space in there for the nerves, some circulation happening. If anything changes technically here, let me know. Check in. Hey, good. Yes to big prayers being answered. Nice. All right. And then I like to do this one, you kind of like take one arm through, palm up. Stretch. Through the through the, the gallbladder channel is through the side body. It's a major meridian affected by stress. All right, a couple more of these. These are all really good to just start stretching the fascia, opening up the meridians a little bit. All right, your body wants to breathe. So we'll just do the, the heaven and earth twist. So just letting the arms flop. Head turns with the shoulders. So maybe more than anything, what we want to work on is breathing, right? Just abdominal breathing, breathing to your navel point. And then it kind of moves in a wave up from there. So many of us hold this tight and it doesn't move, which means the main muscle in your breathing is not working. So let's just try a little bit of that right now. Knees are soft. I'm going to put one hand on the belly. Start real simple. And as you breathe in, just do it gently. If you do it too hard, sometimes it'll contract. But just real gentle. And you feel the belly expand a little and then up into the heart. You could bring the other hand to the heart if you like. So it's like that. And just experiment for a few moments with your own breath. And if it's tight or feels like you can't breathe, don't worry, don't panic. 
it's very natural sometimes that we just realize we haven't been breathing. So just take your time. We're reestablishing what you, you've been doing since you were little. You know how to do this. Your body knows how to do it. Awesome. Okay. So that is real long, smooth breathing as much as you can. Most importantly, okay. Knees soft. So this movement, what we're going to do is we'll just do the first one real slow. Trace out. We're going to inhale up, knees soft. And here the feeling is you're plugging yourself into cosmic energy. And as you exhale down through like the French press we do sometimes. And we're going to kind of compress it down into the root of the body, like pelvic floor, dantian, the hara, low belly. That's a power spot. And then inhale, open, expansive and free. And then just bringing the energy down and in into the low belly area. You can also do like a little mula banda there, just squeeze your pelvic floor. Let's try a couple more. Notice what's happening also in the jaw area. Like try to keep your tongue against the upper palate and the jaw relaxed. One more. It's really learning to bring energy in and down. Awesome. Notice how you feel again. As we're you know, taking longer, deeper breaths, you're really activating your parasympathetic nervous system. Feet apart, hip width. Take your left leg back. You're gonna just kind of just bend a little bit. Like, so like a real easy version of this, it's just like a little bend. You let the knee go slightly past the ankle and you come back. So that's like real easy. And then a little deeper, you kind of like go back more to crescent and you can go down a little more. And then like if you can really work deeper, then you could go down and come up. But don't do too much. You could also take your arms out. Let's just do like five. Fluid, so not too much, which then makes us tighten up, right? This is great practice for all kinds of things. Learning how to dance with energy where you don't take on too much or do too little, yeah? This is also really good for the knees. And forward, just notice how you feel. So you're also turning on your psoas, proprioception. Okay, right leg back. Five more. Nicely done. Okay. Let's try again. So go back to the first side. Let's kind of really now focus your gaze onto one point. You can also do a mudra in the hand, chin mudra. Those of you that want to work a little harder, you do 10. Feel like a little burn going on in the legs. It's good. All right. And then we'll do the other side. Not too much. 
to it. And then you start to get, um, as the legs start working, the meridians in the legs start turning on. So it starts to create a nice energy flow through the body. All right, let's do one more. So variation of the heaven and earth twist, just opening one side and then you switch. So that hand comes to the heart. Little twist into the kidneys and the back. Breathe deep. Ah, great. Relax. Ah. Okay, make a fist. This is just for fun. Put your arms up. Tap into your strength for a moment. Feel your feet, feel your legs, feel your arms reaching up. Affirm your vitality. I'm working on becoming healthy, vital, radiant. I am healthy, vital, and radiant. Yes, to life. Relax, just notice how it feels, right? We need that little, it's like encouragement, reminder. So many things feel overwhelming or I can't, I can't do it. All that just makes us weaker. Getting the positive switch on. All right, beautiful. So we're going to just do some real simple salutations. We can add a little more takeaway as we go. Like feel free to ad lib. All right. So feet apart, hip width. A little easier. Feet together, a little stronger. Hug your leg muscles to the bone upper and lower, and put one hand on your low belly and just press in and up. Remember what we did earlier, like take that belly breath. So, take a, so even though your belly's in and toned, you can still feel the diaphragm expanding. And then I like to just feel my breath all the way up to the top of the head like a wave. Beautiful, and then release your arms. Inhale, stretch up. Belly in, reach high. Exhale, bend forward. Step back to downward dog. And so you could also do all fours here. Inhale to plank. You wanna add a little bit, you could do a couple push-ups or just lower all the way down. Those of you doing the push-ups, from push-up, you can just turn open, right? So turning the feet like that, just to Vashishtasana. Those side obliques. If you're all the way on the belly, you can go to Cobra. Do the other side, and just playing. Yeah, fluid, steady, breathing. Back. Then we all come down. I love being on the ground. And then, you know, there's all these like little rabbit poops. <laughs> Luckily, they don't smell. <laughs> yeah, this park at night and dust, they're like the rabbits come out of nowhere. Just take, take the place over. All right, chest up. And then rock up into cobra. Or upward dog. And downward dog. Three breaths. Great, drop down to the knees. So this would be like another way to kind of come forward and up instead of stepping or jumping forward. So you come to the knees and then you come up high 
on the knees. Take one foot forward. Come on. I'm always curious about different ways to move, right? Because part of what we're doing is as we open up different movement patterns, as we open up the meridians, we also open up brain, neural pathways, heart pathways. So as Rumi says, there are hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. Hands back to the heart. Release the hands, inhale, stretch high. Exhale, hinge forward. If you have back pain, don't, don't do the forward bend. Just, just kind of go into that like halfway position or the fulcrum that we do a lot. And then step back to dog pose, step or jump. Inhale to plank. It's the same thing. If you want to come all the way down, you can. Or just add a few push-ups. Into Vashishtasana. Just a few breaths each side. Fluid. Okay. Plank down to the belly, chest up. The dog or cobra back to downward dog. So just basic poses, simple movement, breath. And then you could either step or jump forward or just take it the way we did before. Drop to the knees, come up, foot forward. So many ways to move. Okay. We're gonna do one more, same thing. So inhale, stretch high. Exhale and bend forward, either the fulcrum or all the way. Step or jump back to dog. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs, feels good. Inhale to plank. So either lower down or add a few more push ups. Into Vashishtasana. Breathing, smooth, fluid movement. And then down to the earth. Watch out for the rabbit poo. And then take a back bend. Downward dog. Three breaths. And drop to the knees where you can step or jump, feet forward. I'm gonna do my other leg this time, right foot. It's good. Okay. Let's do, just do the, the fist one again, just reach up. Give yourself a big yes, all systems on. All circuits on. Yes to the most awesome summer ever, ever, ever. Yes. Feeling good, taking care of yourself, loving up your friends and family, just showing up in a vital way, right? That's what we just got to get in that mindset more and more. Health and vitality. And we talked a lot the last few weeks, you know, about this idea of like movement medicine. And there's so many ways to do it. You go rollerblading, you know, you the bicycle, you do qigong, dance. Find your jam. Find what lights you up and feels so good. Life is movement. Okay, wide stance. All right. 
just we're gonna take the right foot out 90 degrees turn the back heel out a little bit so let's just play with this a little bit just this lubricate the hips a little so we're moving into a warrior two stance back leg stays strong and the chest not leaning forward but spine straight let's try to hold it now arms out palms up three breaths present like a warrior going into battle right just always present aware straighten adjust the feet turn back toward the center and just make a fist again or you can do open palms and just that yes feeling believe in yourself while we're all right now working on overcoming challenges right that's part of the warrior spirit is tapping into your vera your strength your, your spirit you don't have to have big muscles to be a great warrior all right left foot open back heel turns out just again just pulse lubricate this is like you know you're waiting for the french press in the morning coffee or tea just get your body moving a little bit lubricate it okay hold so we're in a lunge nice deep lunge feels good arms up even strong from the heart stretch out three breaths straighten the leg back again make a fist yes strong clear mind clear body clear heart clear it out right foot back heel out again let's just play again here with this lunge this time lean the torso forward keep pressing the back heel forearm to thigh Konasana, and so we're not collapsing down but opening up right open the chest roll the belly open those of you who want to go deeper you could grab the ankle touch the floor but keep your chest open three breaths top arm alongside the ear top arm to the sky leg strong inhale up through warrior two Let's straighten for a moment, readjust the legs, and then come back in like we did the first round. And then holding warrior three, three breaths. Steady gaze, open heart, strong spine. And straighten. Turn the feet in. Hands to the heart for a moment. Devotion. Devotion is such a powerful force when you figure out what your heart wants to serve. And it can be more than one thing, right? What your heart bows down to. It's so important. Imagine the politicians, leaders, and their family too. <laughs> Even the ones on the other side, maybe. Whatever. All sides. I don't have any sides anymore. But it's like they too need to find their devotion. Devotion to life, to love, right? To taking care of life. Okay, left foot up, back heel out. Same thing, little pulse, get my hips lubricated today. And then forearm to the thigh. So scoop your left hip under, back heel strong, and roll your chest open, open the chest, so nice and open. And if you wanna go a little deeper, hand down. I feel like I'm at Esalen. We used to practice on the lawn there. Three breaths. Smile, breathe. Let's 
Top arm to the sky, legs are strong. Come up through warrior two, straighten it. Go right back into the pulse. Hold, one hand on the low belly, low belly in and up, Yana. poise, right? The warrior with poise and grace, gaze out over the left hand, three breaths. Straight, back in. Fists again. So just explore for a moment the concept of warrior. What does that mean for you? It doesn't mean you know, weapons necessarily. Right? There are different weapons that we have. Tools is another word. But just that strength, finding strength in yourself right now. Believing in yourself, holding that intention. I can do this. Choosing to be strong and vital, to not give my power away anymore to those places that I've given it to. Powering myself. And Shakti's power. This is Shakti Yoga. It's all Shakti Yoga. It's just getting your power back. Awesome. Seems to be working okay today. That's great. Oh, I know what I would do. So it's like just working with your back bend a little bit from standing position. So definitely start out with the eyes open. So your knees are soft. So you kind of like, it's like arms up. And then I go into like a cactus arm and I back flow through so it's just like one fluid movement so you're just bending your arms yeah, as you go back so you know like when we do too much too, too long, and that becomes the habit. We tend to start jamming the body up. It's like overeating all the time. It just it makes your stomach tight and all kinds of other things. And then if you don't eat enough, that's not good either, right? So it's just finding that right amount, the feeling of the right amount. So you guys kind of do one movement. Up. Nice. If you have any, you know, shoulder injuries or stuff like that, let's just do one arm. Right, so you just you get the upper arm back and the arms in an L shape. That's just such a great position to be in for your shoulder alignment and then if you pull your chin in it helps to reset the neck so just hold that for like maybe 30 seconds chin in your arms back work the hips. So let's see what I want to do. Um, let's do a little more in the hips. So this one, left leg back, we do this sometimes as a warm up. And you just inhale. So you're getting balance, focus your gaze. And then, oops, and then you fall over, <laughs> you step back. And then here you just kind of go into a little back bend, hands behind the head, like that. Lubricating the hip, we'll just do a few of those, like five. 
So you're getting hip flexion and extension as it goes back. This is like a powerhouse spot. It's when you get locked up in here, psoas and tension, it's like your, your movement center becomes uh, shut down. So let's do the other side. Dynamic. Awesome. Okay, next one. So I think what we're gonna do today is just play with some healthy ranges of the hip. So, so one idea is just getting this freed up, right? Like movement. This is like a little harder than it looks, but you're just, you're balancing and moving. You can hold on to a chair or something if you want, you know, wall. Just, just real free. Now I'm facing downhill. Right. The other side. Just freeing it up. So good. Shake. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do a flexion. So you're going to grab, stand on the right leg, pull your left knee in, focus your gaze. And again, you can, you know, lean against the wall if you need to, Put one hand on a chair, find the balance, three breaths, distracted there, work. Right, and then do the other side. Belly's in. Kind of simple, right? But important. Because then what you can do, let's go back to the first side. Could straighten it out. I'm, I'm kind of on a hill here, so I'm gonna just move myself a little bit. But you could also grab the big toe. You could just straighten it a little bit. You could stay bent, or you could straighten it all the way. Take a couple breaths, steady gaze. And then release. Shake it out. Good, all these circuits of energy. Okay, next sign. So left, sorry, right knee for y'all in. Grab the big toe, do that. So maybe that, that's enough or straighten a little. Those of you that can, straighten it all the way. Relax. Okay. Warrior one, left leg back. So it's kind of fun, you know, you probably can't do it in your living room, but if you have a little slope, you have one leg going up the slope. So you're kind of like, you know, warrior one like that. Arms out. And let's just pulse again. So nice way to come into the lunges is just to explore them a little bit. Press into the back heel, lift up through the heart. Three breaths. Those of you who wanna go a little deeper, you can take the arms up, sink in a little. Really lift up through the trunk, take one more breath. Slowly straighten, hands on the hips. 
Now I'm going to take a little step in with the back foot, just like a little step. Okay. Two versions of this. Let me just show them real quick. So you're going to go from here, either into reverse Parjva Konasana. So your left hand goes down, right arm goes up. Or harder, a little stronger. Is going to, you're going to keep this leg straight and you're going to do a twisting triangle. Hand could be on the foot, can be on the block. The leg is straight. Don't overwork your neck. So leg stays strong, three breaths. When you come up, bend the knees, even if you're in triangle a little bit, root your legs and like a windmill, you come up. Text your back. All right. Always remember, root to rise. Protect your inner body. Okay, same thing here. Let's go to this, let's go to the other side now. It's warrior one. A lot of people come into the park now. Hey, let's go to the park. Arms out. Peaceful warrior energy. Compassionate, strong and clear. Smile. Expansive. And then those of you who want to go a little deeper, you reach the arms up. Sink in. Release it. A little step in with the back foot. Just get upright for a moment. Okay, and then either you can bend, right? Come down into twisting parjva konasa, or you're doing straight leg. Three breaths. As you come up, bend the knees. Mill up. Root to rise. Okay, hallelujah. We did it. Let's just go back to this one, playful. Just like you're banging the drums. Let's get the chi. Stay loose, gotta stay loose, right? Keep your chi. Your chi is your most valuable possession. <laughs> I promise you. Um, because we don't have that, nothing you can do. When your chi is gone, you'll be somewhere else. You'll be in the next life. So while we're here, let's make the most, you know there's that great quote. Um, I heard it three times this week, so I'm gonna share it with you came into me. Everyone has two lives. And the second one begins the moment you realize you only have one. I like that. You like that? Yeah. Give me a, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Everyone has two lives. The second one begins the moment you realize you only have one. This is it, family. This is all that astral preparation, angel training school, Wings. Here we go. Right, come on down to the earth. Spread your wings and lay down. And just turn your palms up for a moment. Just gonna do like a little mini shavasana. And I am present. Just a little mini drop in. Let's relax. 
taking the prana. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Feel the flow. All right, so we're going to go into um, some bridge, bridge work here. Good people. Can you hear me now? Yeah, are we back? Thumbs up. Okay, great. All right. I'm not sure what happened. I think the signal cut out for a moment. Okay, we're back. Great. Okay, cool. So we were in the midst of a bridge. So just do it a few times as a kind of strengthening movement. For your glutes, hamstrings, low back, and then come down. And, and just keep refining and make it fluid. Awesome. On the next one, just hold it for three breaths. Relax. Peaceful. Peaceful warrior. Feet apart, hip width, and then we're going to do the sacral twist. So you take your arms out to the side, just drop your knees over to the right, or on the edge of the feet. If that left knee is kind of hanging in the air, great, just pulse it up and down a little bit. Go the other way. The, the pulsing movements are really good for stuck tissue, frozen tissue, back to the first side. You could also do more of a sustained pressure. Press your top knee down toward the bottom foot. Sustain it like 30 seconds. the other side. Some back up. I'm just dropping into my breath for a moment. So feel, feel free to be intuitive and you can keep moving through back bends. You could have a moment of breath connection.
Society. Okay, so now, any other back bend you want to do here? We'll just make this our back bend area. I'm going to do a camel. You're welcome to join me. You could do bridge, you could do a fish also. Um, you could lay over a bolster for a few minutes, but just open the back bend up. If you want to join me for camel? I'm going to do a couple of different things here, play a little. So I'm going to just put my left toes under. So the left toes are curled under. The right foot's just flat on the floor. Push the hips forward. Just kind of checking with the lumbar curve. You want the lumbar curve to go in and then you lift up. And if you can, your left hand, let's see, first we'll just take it up. So like this is good. Neck also in line. And then those of you that can, you can take the hand back and just hold the heel. Just doing the one side, just for a couple breaths. Just let that open up. And then root down to come up. Let's change sides. And, you know, this is my template, so you can obviously just change it a little bit. Right foot's down, left foot's flat. Just adds a little spring up. The right arm up. And you could take it back also. Open the chest. And root down to come up. Wow. Let's do a little child's pose. Just come on down. So you, you want to, I'm going to say the word perform, but I use it loosely. Performing the asanas in a, in a way that allows you to be present, allows you to breathe, and find the two forces of stiram and sukham, grounding, a sense of grounding, stiram, and sukham is a sense of lightness and opening. And it's one of the famous yoga sutras, stiram, sukham, asanam. Perform asana in a way that you're engaging both the forces of steadiness and lightness. Extend my child's pose for a moment. Feels good. Right. And let's see, where should we go next? <laughs> um, so I'm going to do a little hip work. Again, you're welcome to join me here. You're also welcome to follow your inner muse. How are you doing? You to hot in the sun? You can go in the shade if you want. Yeah. See, see that or the rabbit poop. All right, so Saitalyasan, like that, bend the right knee. You know, fairly, it's kind of like gentle to moderate hip stretch. And um, you could also then deepen it by 
just working this back like straighter. Man, it's nice and deep. So either Saitalyasana or Pigeon, let's do a couple minutes. And again, just returning to the slow, deep breath. Inhaling, fill the belly and the heart. Fill your belly, fill your heart. Fill your life with breath. Those of you in Pigeon, if you want to play a little, you can come up, just reach up, grab the back foot. Yeah. Just pull in, get a little thigh stretch. And then you could also do something like this from pigeon. Just place the hands down and just slowly lift the leg and take that same leg open and down with jaw. Just free it up, play a little. Now it's same leg. So this is just, you know, if you can do this, you're going to bring it through again, the right knee, and then take it over to the side, so it kind of crosses under, like that. And you could also lean back a little more. Just playing, all we're doing is playing. You could also not do this, <laughs> right? And then back, and then take a vinyasa. Drop down again. Now go into Saitalyasana on the other side. Left knee, right leg back. Really softening the kidney area, letting the low back release. And if you want to straighten the back leg into more of the, the pigeon, right? you can do that. Pigeon, back, grab the knee. Okay, 
we see from that angle, but same as the other side. Release as you're ready. So I'm going to just sit for a few moments here and I think we'll do a little pranayama and then shavasana. If you feel like you'd like to do some inversions or something else, you can do that. Good to just get a little sitting time, right? A little breath work. Take a moment and find a nice, comfortable seat. Give your body a little shake, a little wriggle, just really relaxed, peaceful. This is your, your date of self-discovery with yourself into me i see medication so spine straight tongue against the upper palate and kind of like we did in the beginning the invitation to just meditate on the mantra om The infinite source of all being. Ishwara. Invite in the sense awareness that there is oneness. The sense that you're connected to the heart of the universe. The heart of life. sense that you're opening that connection. For those that would like to do some anulom vilom, alternate nostril breathing, think of this as balancing the polarities in the body, the left and right, feminine, masculine energy. So you take your right or left hand, either hand, to your nose. Lock off one side. I put the two fingers in the third eye point, but you don't have to do that. You can bring them down. And the thumb just below the bone and the ring finger also. So the rhythm we'll try is you inhale for four counts. So let's do the right side. Inhale for one ohm, two ohm, three ohm, four ohm. Hold for two. Exhale four, switch. So exhale through the left side, four counts. Hold out for two. Inhale left, four counts. Hold two. Switch, exhale four, right side. So you only switch for the exhale. Hold out two, inhale four, right side. 
equal to exhale four, sw switch exhale four. Okay, so just do that a few times on your own. If it feels uncomfortable to hold the breath, don't hold it. But you can take that part out. And just making it really smooth and steady. Head is on straight, spine straight. Calm and peaceful. Good. Now, those of you that are really comfortable there, I want you to go up one level to six and three. So you're going to inhale six, hold three. And then on the exhale, six, and then hold out three. So the idea is to get it like as smooth and steady as you can. Now do it another round or two, but just make it lighter, like ease it up a little bit. It's like you're kind of slowing down. And relax. And just take a few moments being present with the breath waves. And just continuing in meditation, or you can lay on the earth for Shavasana, just staying internal, staying connected.
So just feeling your own rhythm to return, no rush. Enjoy the sensations of the body, being in this body. Remember your beautiful spirit, the light that shines inside, always there, always there. And your life is your journey, it's your integration. It's your dharma, dharma path, the unfolding of truth, love, growth, consciousness. This is a place to practice this planet, practice peace, what your soul came here to do, the things your soul came here to do. So just closing with a beautiful prayer from your heart. Om mani peme hum, om mani peme hum, om mani peme hum. Prayers to all sentient beings to awaken in their own time to heal, to remember. Thank you to all the souls that have been here. All the souls coming in, even today, little babies being born. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So there you have it, love from Crescent Bay Park. Hope you all have a beautiful day today, just in time because the computer battery is going low here. Let's get to know, it works for a class. No, no power plugs out here, so I was a little nervous. Um, feel free to type a little comment if you like. And you're all invited to the summer solstice retreat. Got five rooms left. We spent a week in Yalapa. Oh my God, it's so amazing. What an amazing place. It's like, um, there's no cars there, you know? So it's just mellow. <laughs> People can't just come. And it's like little streets. And uh, I mean, the retreat center's out on the point, but it was just really lovely. And maybe some something you can do this summer just plan a little trip or a little something, you know, for yourself, a little soul journey. Hello, the lizard just came. And, 
um, yeah, you know. That's it. Oh, great. You can hear the birds singing. Yeah, awesome. Okay. So, yes. Yes to more outside classes. You know, there's always, like, all these variables, and so I kind of gave up on it for a while, but I'm willing to try again because it feels so good to be outside. And uh, yeah, have a beautiful day today. So next Patreon class next Sunday. And um, I'll be at the Sedona Yoga Festival beginning of June. Disclosure Fest in LA, Hanuman Festival, and then maybe some other little classes here and there. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Namaste. Lisa, over there. All right. So, peace and love, everyone. Talk to you soon. Your parents think of what? Great. Why don't you go sit on that phone so you don't? Thanks for all the comments as well. It's great.